Hey guys, this is the part 2 of the multi-column picker video I've created for my Absolator Titanium video series for I uh, to create native iPhone and Android apps. Uh, the, the part 1 is in my previous video, so if you haven't watched that, please do, because I wrote a good 60, nearly 60 lines of code, and I'm going to continue from here. Okay, so... Uh, in this video, I'm going to be creating the event listener and then adding all the pick and the result label together and opening the window and testing it out. Okay, so let's say a picker dot add event listener and we are going to be listening to the change and the callback function is the usual E. So inside it, we are going to say if and and execute code that if that is true. So if e dot column index index equals zero, that means if I've if the user only have uh, touched the left side of the column, actually left side of the index, not the right side, and that is because the food column is index zero because I wrote that first in my uh, column property in the picker. And the drink is uh, index one because that's how you count in programming. That's zero and that's one. So if e dot column index equals zero, I want it to do another if statement. So if e dot row dot val. So if the value of the selected uh, selected what do you call it option in the picker equals, and I'm going to go back quickly to my food. Let's say if it equals to, I don't know, IT, which means pasta. So IT, I'm going to say uh, if it equals to that. And then I'm going to say results dot text equals I like or well, pasta. If you get the reference, I love you. And that means you're an anime uh, nerd like me. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do another one. So if else if uh, e dot row dot val equals uh, I don't know JP, I'm just going to say results dot text equals uh, I like raw fish, which is sushi. I can say that stuff because I'm Japanese. Okay, that means that if I didn't touch the right side of the column. Or right side of the picker, which is food, uh, which is drinks, and I've only selected food. If I uh, select pasta, it's going to uh, come up with pasta, and if I select sushi, it's going to say I like raw fish. Uh, if you're creating a fully functional app like this one, you want to do it for every options in the food. I only did it for two because it, if I do it for another six, it's going to either or it's going to one make the video longer in length, and two, it's going to make the code of uh, more complicated and longer, which I don't want. So if you're doing it, f uh, if you want to fully make your app, you can either use the if statement for all of these, or you can do the switch statement to make it a bit easier and quicker. Okay, coming back to here. So if uh, e dot column index equals zero, I want you to do this. However, coming back to this side, else if I've selected for both food and drink, I want the result to be results dot text it's the result isn't it yeah it's the results results dot text equals I I like to eat uh, with a space plus e dot selected value for zero which is food plus uh, I want the dot and then I want this uh, forward slash n what that means is it's just a html thing uh to go to the next line so it's like pressing enter so i want this drink thing to be on the next uh line so i drink and space plus e dot selected value for one which is the drinks column and i guess i could add the dot at the end and that's it like so and don't forget the semicolon here and yeah that's it for the event listener and lastly what you do is win dot add picker which is the create picker va uh, variable and win dot add uh, results which is the create label variable which uh, 
shows me the results of what I picked, which I spent the last five minutes writing over here. How's the time? Excellent, five minutes. And lastly, just window open. Okay, so now I'm going to save my app.js and then load for both my iPhone simulator and the Android emulator. Uh, hopefully my Android emulator is going to work. Okay, my Android emulator failed to load. I have no idea. I need to uh, Google my couple of problems I have to check it up. So uh, you have to bear with me with just the iPhone simulator. However, the Android version uh, just looks really similar. The it's slightly different visually, but the end result is all the same. So by default, I have my label. Uh, it says my favorite food and drink, and I have a picker on the left and a picker on the right. Now. If I, I need to click, don't I? If I go to pasta, it's going to say pasta because I, uh, I didn't choose anything on the right and I just chose uh, one on the left. So it's going to give me the e dot column index equals zero to true and it's going to uh, execute that bunch of code which is going to give me pasta if I choose uh, pasta and I like raw fish if I choose. Uh, sushi. So if I go to, I don't know, hamburger, it's not going to do anything. However, if I select, uh, for example, water, it's going to say I like to eat hamburger and I drink water. And don't forget that it goes on a new line thanks to the forward uh, N. So I could do that for sandwich and so on. And then I could say select sandwich and select lemonade and it's going to switch to I like to eat sandwich and I drink lemonade and tea. I think tea goes well with sushi with tea and hamburger should be I think lemonade sandwich should be I think it should be water yeah or tea British tea oh I love Earl Grey and so on okay so that's about it so in this video we finished it we finished uh, creating our uh, multi-column picker and we've checked it out with our iPhone simulator so thanks uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later